Help support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps you protected when shopping online. Get $5 to try it now by using promo code QZZ2J. And with Blueberry, the community that gives creators the power to make money, get detailed audience measurements, and host their audio and video. Get a 30-day free trial by using promo code BLUEBERRY004. We have our first guest here. Hello. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? Fantastic. Go ahead and introduce yourself for us. All right. My name is Caitlin Fitzgerald, and I am Director of Brand at Zero Mass Water. And uh, for those who don't know, go ahead and talk about what Zero Mass Water is. Oh, yeah. Well, we're excited to be here today uh, here at CES. We are a renewable water company, and our technology source hydro panels is making water from only sunlight and air. This hydro panel technology is collecting moisture in the air, adsorbing it into a hygroscopic material. Now that's a material that's been specially nanostructured to be highly attracted to water. And then we use passive condensation powered by solar to take that and make clean drinking water. And uh, we spoke two years ago. We got, to, we got to talk about this out at your booth in uh, the courtyard in front of Central Hall, <laughs> um, which I'll never forget the panels throwing light into the camera <laughs> over and over again. Oh, it was a challenge to get it, but it was a great conversation. I really like the technology, and I know that you guys have some new stuff going on this year. So what do we got going on? We do indeed. We have two really exciting announcements. So first is our Source Rexy Hydro Panel. This is a really cool new residential technology. It is about the exact same size as a standard solar PV panel. Okay. And it is designed to make that perfect rooftop water production designed for your residences, your homes, your schools, kind of that individual use. And at the same time, we are unveiling our source fields. Now, these are huge arrays of hydro panels that make many, many hundreds or thousands or even millions of liters each each year. And so these large arrays are designed for your industrial, your commercial, or even your hospitality use. And oh, we have okay. many of these in place around the world today. So we're excited to be telling that story because because as you can see from the individual all the way to that scaled water production, the future of water can actually be renewable. And that's actually not a distant future. That's a future that's here today. Uh yeah, not even a galaxy far, far away either. Uh, you know, you don't have to be an evaporator farmer on Tatooine for this stuff to work. That's what's great. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and that's what's really fun, too, is that while the technology sounds a little bit like sci-fi and a little bit like magic, it's really science. <laughs> and we can do this in even very, very low humid conditions. And yeah. so we have, you know, installations in places like, you know, Arizona, where we're from. And that, that humidity, there's barely any water in there. And we're making water all year long. Wow. And I can only imagine somewhere uh, like Florida, Texas, somewhere like that that is just yeah. rapidly humid all the time, yeah, for uh, sure. how much you would be able to produce. And that's that's what you and I talked about exactly. last time being from Florida. And it might actually seem like alchemy with it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Water. It, it, exactly, and it's that simple. It, you, you, you can take one of these hydro panels out into the middle of the desert, and it's going to make water for you. It doesn't need any electric input or any water input. And, and you wow. had them physically set up in the courtyard. I, you might, again, I, have, oh, yeah. I imagine so. Yeah, yeah. We have an entire setup. So if, if folks are coming out at CES, we're in that central plaza. We've got our Rexy on display, uh, both on the ground so you can see it up close, but also so you can see it on a rooftop uh, at our mini home. And then we also have an array to kind of show you what a small source field might look like. We've got six hydro panels set up. And importantly, we've got a bottled refill station. So if you're thirsty at the show, this is the best place to get drinking water. You don't even have to pay for it. And, and it is. I Yeah, <laughs> it is amazing. Having gotten to try it, um, and you just kind of kept giving it to us last time, because <laughs> we were there on Friday, and we were all pretty well dead, and you were just like, nope, you still look. Here, keep taking it. Keep hydrating. <laughs> yeah, please, please. And, you look like you need some water. And for somebody who outside of CES doesn't often drink a whole lot of water, just straight water, this would do it for me. Excellent. So, I, I mean, that's, that. that's, a, that's a big thing. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's been an important part of our journey with our customers, too, is that it's not just that you can make water anywhere. It's not just that you have renewable water, but we spent a lot of time studying exactly what does make drinking water delicious. What is water that people want to drink? And then we designed that mineral recipe in our water to mirror that flavor, that taste profile. And that's what you get with source water. It's truly delicious. It is. 
Yeah, and I had the chance to meet y'all at Unveiled uh, the other night. That was the first time I had had a chance to see the technology. And as someone that's looking to move out into the middle of the desert eventually, uh, the fact that this technology is there, so affordable, so readily available, is awesome. Like, uh, what is the price point on a home unit, things like that? What is the production on the average home unit, like for apartment users, things like that? Because it's definitely something that could replace your generalized water service that kind of stuff. Yeah, you know, a lot of folks are upgrading their water supply, and so it's really important. If you're buying bottled water, you're going to lengths to filter your water, make sure your water is safe and accessible. Uh, You know, a $2,500 Rexy hydro panel would help you completely eliminate all of your bottled water usage or any of that filtered water, and it's going to make up to 300 bottles worth of water for you every month, so it's great. Wow. And and it's just like solar, right? So if you've got a bigger family, bigger household, you just add a few more hydro panels. Yeah, yeah. And it's really just that easy it exactly. they look like a regular solar mm-hmm. panel they go in a place where a regular solar panel would go and they just spit out water yeah exactly <laughs> and in fact your installation is going to be a bit easier than if you got solar because we're not connecting mm. to any grid or any mm-hmm. electric uh infrastructure you don't we're have just to worry about the the power company uh-huh. trying to fight you or any of the nonsense right. that goes into <laughs> yep, it's just fully yeah. independent. We put it on your roof, run a tube down to your tap, and you're good to go as soon as the sun comes up. Now, as, as an engineer myself, my, one of my questions is always integration. How do, how do you go about integrating this into your existing system? How do you go about installing this into your house? That kind of stuff. Is it something that you could put up temporarily at a rental property? That kind of stuff. It's... It's standalone, right? It is. Ah, it is. So there's I, I wanted to make sure I remembered. Yep. Yes, ah. that was very good. I, that must have been a, a great conversation. Her. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. So, uh, so, yeah, it actually doesn't have to integrate. So what it does is, it, like I said, it goes on your roof. You know, you take like a, a little tube, snake it through your walls mm-hmm. the way you might a cable. Okay. And then it goes up right to like a dedicated drinking water tap that okay. might be in your kitchen. And yeah. so we don't mess with your existing plumbing. We're not, you know, causing extra headaches for you. We're just, great. It's, it's that simple. And, yeah. and that's one of the elegance. Of it. Is so it, so it could go into the spot where maybe one of those water filters or even a, a, a hand spray thing yes, would go. Yes, okay. exactly. Yeah, you, exactly. Could, you could even hook it up outside, put it onto a drip hose, uh-huh. and just have it automatically watering your garden daily. Oh, yeah. That kind of stuff. We've got lots of customers that are doing that today. Yeah, especially yeah. with okay. aquaponics, mm-hmm. that kind of stuff going on all over the place now. You could set up your own fully functioning ecosystem back there that's growing fish. In, in plants and generating the water itself. The possibilities are so endless yeah. with all you need is sunlight and air. And, and, and as cheesy as that sounds, it just is so true. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Not only that, but uh, actively increasing air quality, filtering out puri- impurities, that kind of stuff as well at the same time. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, and then that's what's special. So, you know, your traditional water supply, it's, it's, it's going to take some, some dirty water and it's going to clean it to yeah. the best of their abilities and try to keep it clean as, as much as they can. But with our water, we're taking only pure water molecules out of the air, condensing only pure water similar to distilled. So it starts like a blank slate, which right. is really special because you don't ever have that vulnerability like you might with other water right. supplies. And yeah. this, this, in addition to where we talked about residential, it, in in places where water is a problem as a whole because yeah. yep. you know here we're fortunate we can turn on the tap and we're good to go but that's not the case everywhere that's very true and and importantly we are in more than 35 different countries today where we're providing water in places where they're experiencing a wide range of issues from yeah. drought to contamination to total infrastructure even, failure even major disasters like right now down in puerto rico 500 yep. swarm earthquakes just happened they're looking at more definitely an issue with their water you could go out set these up and provide water for whole communities after hurricanes floods Absolutely. earthquakes all kinds of and, things and we've done that in fact yeah. i'm getting updates about the earthquakes from my team that's down there because they're out there we have hydro panel installations Beautiful. all across the island and importantly in remote places right yeah, yeah. Yep. specifically on islands where the infrastructure to put in desalination plants things like that resorts mm-hmm. that kind of stuff the infrastructure for that is huge and very oh, very yeah. very Cost inefficient. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, and we have, again, like, you keep naming all these great applications, and, and we've got installations just like that. We've got them That's from awesome. Dubai to Australia. Nice. That's fantastic. Well, obviously, people are going to want to find out more about this. How can they do that? So if you want to find out more about Zero Mass Water, you can visit our website at www.zeromasswater.com. 
fantastic. Well, right. thank you for coming and talking to Thanks us today. Thanks for having me. Thank Absolutely. You, Enjoy and, uh, the show. And if you get thirsty, you guys know where to hydrate. Indeed. That's right. All right. Thank you so much. Absolutely. See you soon. <laughs>